Hi, Stephen from Owned Disso. Today, Dell are announcing uh, some uh, some more updated uh, laptops, monitors, and a long-awaited update uh, on the Alienware Command Center software. First, let's take a look at the Alienware Command Center. For the longest time, competitors have had a far better utility to overclock and to alter fan speeds. And finally, Alienware has caught up and possibly even overtaken them. You are now able to create profiles per game that allow you to apply a, a custom overclock for that game, including uh, voltage control, which I think is great. You can create a custom fan profile for that game also, uh, changing the fan speeds for both the uh, graphics card and the processor. You can uh, also create a custom lighting profile for each game, and this is fantastic. That's a great update, long overdue, and is available for all your Alienware machines. Dell are also releasing two new monitors, a 24-inch and a 27-inch. The 24-inch will only be 1080p, and the 27-inch will be QHD. They are ultra-thin, being only about 5.5mm at the base and 29mm at the top. And they both have very thin bezels with a, an infinity edge display, making them ideal for multi-monitor setup, and a 600-nit brightness, which is 200 nits higher than their replacements. They are both IPS panels, and they have greater than 99% to sRGB. Response time is 5 milliseconds in fast mode, so it does make them a reasonable gaming monitor, but there is no mention of G-Sync or FreeSync. But with its HDR10 uh, content playback capability, um, I suspect that they're more suitable for content creation. Perhaps more exciting are the new 2-in-1s, the XPS 15 and the 5290. The XPS 15 2-in-1 will launch in April and will have up to a 45-watt CPU, an i7-8705G, Intel CPU with a base frequency of 3.1 GHz, a 4K IXO Infinity Edge display, up to 32 gigs of RAM and up to 1 terabyte of storage. It has an AMD RX Vega MGL graphics card. Now, this is one of four upcoming Intel CPUs that will have AMD graphics. Exciting. You can have up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and two USB 3.1 Type A ports. And you also have inking support. Will this give the uh, Yoga 720 a run for its money? I think so, because pricing starts at $1,300. They are also launching a new Latitude 5292 in which starts at $900 and has a detachable keyboard like the Surface Pro. It has a 12.3 inch 1920x1280 display. For $1,300, you get an i5-8250U processor, but it only has a 120 gigabyte SSD. But this can be up to 512 gigs. It starts with 4 gigs of RAM, but can be configured up to 16. There is an option to have a Thunderbolt port, and it uh, does have pen support, but again, that needs to be purchased separately. Now, the tablet uh, only weighs 1.9 pounds, and with the keyboard, 2.65 pounds. So it is nice and portable, but to be honest, for the general consumer, there are cheaper options out there, like the Asus Transformer book I reviewed. Now, what sets this apart is very useful for commercial use. You, get, you can get a smart card reader in it, with a Dell Control Vault that stores and protects passwords and biometric uh, authentication. You also have a, an optional fingerprint reader and 4G LTE modem, which is uh, good for Sprint, Verizon, and AT&T. I would say that these and the new XPS 13 are perhaps are the most promising updates, and um, although it would have been nice to actually have seen an updated Alienware line. I just bought an XPS 13 to review, so stay tuned uh, for that full review, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.